demonstration, we're going to be covering how to use the mobile app. You'll notice here on the mobile app from the dashboard, you can see an overview of all your jobs, invoices, and quotes, and also quickly toggle between any of the tabs within those specific sections. You can also hit the plus options here to simply generate a new job, invoice, or quote. First, we'll head over to the jobs menu. From the jobs menu, we can view our jobs by today, our new jobs, active or all, or simply apply a filter to filter our jobs by a specific status, time, staff member, priority or job type. From here, we'll generate a new job by simply hitting the plus. I can enter in my customer information. as well as the ability to add the site, reference, and add in the relevant job information. I can also add in my tasks and have the access to the contact information or custom information within the job. If we move along to the notes section now, the notes section is where we can record all our internal notes about this specific job. I can write a note. And choose the options here to add a photo or video signature. I also have the flexibility to add a, video, add a photo or video from my library, or simply take the photo or video, or capture a signature. I can then also choose the relevant staff members within my account to notify. Moving along to the time section. Time is where we record all our workers hours including who might have been on the job, how long they were on the job and any tasks they were completing. To enter their time there's two different methods. From the main job card we can use the timer function where we specify our billing rate, add in a note, and hit the start timer option. The other method is to do a manual timesheet entry where we specify a start time, a finish time, and add any relevant notes in here. and hit done. Once again, any hours that are recorded on the job will automatically flow into the workers' timesheets. And as an admin, I can obviously see how many hours are locked on the job, the costs, charges, and gross profit on the specific time entries. I can simply scroll the bar along the top here to see more information about the specific job. I can select materials and add the relevant materials to my job by simply searching through my price lists. I can add them using miscellaneous costs or simply copy the materials from a bill or quote that's associated with that job. In this instance, we're going to search through our price list to find the relevant items. I can search for the item and adjust any of the unit costs or sell prices if need be. Once again, seeing this information will depend on the staff member's permission level and whether or not they have access to change or see the costs or sell prices associated with items. I can also add miscellaneous costs. I may have gone out and bought something specific for a job or want to charge something back to the customer. I can specify quantities costs and sell prices for each of those jobs. And once again, obviously the ability to see your costs, charges and profit on each of those materials. Moving along to schedule. I can also schedule the job from within the mobile app. I can open our scheduler. and see all of my appointments across the week. To make an appointment, I can 
hold my finger down, select the relevant staff member, choose a start date, a start time, a finish date and finish time, and also add any notes in here that I might want to include. I can then hit save and lock that specific entry on our time. Depending on my permission levels, I may be able to move time entries around, as well as also drag and drop specific appointments if I need to make changes. Once again, this will depend on the independent staff member's permission levels and how much access they have to the system. I can then also see a list of those specific schedule appointments for that specific job. Moving along. I also have the option to generate purchase orders, bills, quotes and invoices within the system. In this specific instance we'll generate an invoice. I can select new invoice and then choose the type of invoice I want to generate. For this job we gen didn't generate a quote so I'll select the time and materials option. I can then also choose some invoicing options if I want to group my materials or choose to show all the relevant materials from that job. I select done and the system's now automatically generated an invoice for me. I can see the relevant line items and choose to add additional items if need be. I can also see the invoice totals, payments and add any relevant notes to that specific invoice if need be. I can also select the arrow option up here to get a bit more information about the invoice or the ability to print it out. show what the end customer will see, as well as the ability to email it, copy it, or even open that specific customer. And once again, the ability to approve it and send it through to my relevant accounting system. I can then also come back to the main job card now, and may choose to change the job status to complete. This allows you or your staff members to better track your jobs and keep track of which status a job is at. I can hit save. And it's now saved this job. I also have the option to select the arrow and get some more information about the specific job. I can open the scheduler, the customer, generate an email for that customer, as well as get directions to the job, mark the job as invoiced, or produce a financial report as well. I also have options regarding emailing the job sheet, printing the job sheet, or signing the job sheet for getting work signed off. These options allow you some customization as well as the ability to see a bit more information about the specific job and allow your workers to navigate to the specific addresses from within the app. Moving along to the timesheets menu down the bottom. The timesheets on the mobile app will only ever show your own timesheets. You can select a day and see all of your relevant timesheet entries across that day. You can select an entry to make adjustments on the start time, finish time, the job it's related to and also the billing rate that was used. You can log non-billable time on jobs by simply hitting the plus, selecting a start time, selecting a finish time and leaving the job section blank. I may also choose to add some notes. And hit save. That carries the relevant timesheet entry onto my total hours for the week, but not onto my billable total. Once again, on the mobile app you will only ever see your t own timesheet, never anyone else's. Heading along to the map function. The map function allows you to see where your staff members are located on the map, as well as the ability to see all your relevant appointments on the map as well by simply selecting a job and seeing all the jobs that are in that specific area. I can see 
my today, my new, my active, or all, and simply scroll through my jobs to find the relevant job I'm looking for. Moving along to the invoices menu now. The invoices menu allows you a way to keep track of all your invoices within the system, as well as the ability to send them through to your accounting system. You'll notice up the top you can manage these through draft, unpaid, overdue, or all. Keep in mind that if you have your accounting system integrated, the unpaid and overdue options will not be available. Or you can simply generate a new invoice by selecting the plus option here. Once again, you can also get some more information about the specific invoice regarding the job, the customer, or the ability to email it or print it out for your customer. Much like the invoices menu, you can also generate quotes on the fly by simply selecting the plus option here. You can also see any quotes you might have generated for a customer, as well as always being able to print them out or generate them. One of the added benefits of the system is the ability to have your customers sign off on quotes. We can select the plus and generate a new quote, enter in our customer, capture some more information about the job, and add some line items. We can select from time, a price list item, a kit, or miscellaneous. For this instance, I'll just add some time. Select the billing rate I want to use, a section if I've created one or want to add one, as well as the ability to adjust quantities, costs, or sell prices. The quote will also tell me how much it's costing me, what my expected profit is, and the subtotal. I can also add notes. I can then also select approve, meaning I'm happy for it to be sent to the customer. And then have the option to accept or revise the quote. In this instance, I'll choose to accept it. And the system prompts me whether or not I want my customer to sign the quote. If I hit yes, I can then have my customer sign the quote, and which the system also prompts me whether or not I want to create a job for this quote. Most likely, in most instances, this will be yes, but for this specific instance, I'm going to select no. I can then print out my quote and easily see that my customer has signed off on the quote, as well as seeing all the relevant line items associated with the specific quote. Once again, I have the option to email or print this out for my customer. I can also generate purchase orders or bills within the system that I can send over to my accounting system. Much like quotes, you simply hit the plus, select your supplier, add the relevant line items, and then choose what you wish to do with that specific purchase order or bill, whether it be email it to your supplier or send the bill through to your accounting system. Moving along to the scheduler now. The schedule allows us to see all of our appointments across the week. One of the benefits of the scheduler is that you mainly be able to see your own appointments, but also the ability to open jobs within the specific appointment. I can select open job and be taken to that specific job within the system where I can manage my time, materials, or generate invoices, quotes, purchase orders, or bills. Once again, I can also move or mix and match specific appointments to be adjusted for that specific entry. Heading along to customers now. The customer sections allow you to see all the relevant contact information for your customers. You can also see any notes you've written about a customer, any sites you might have generated, as well as jobs, you might have completed, 
invoices you might have completed for the specific customer, or quotes. If I select a customer with some relevant information, you can see all the jobs I've completed for the customer and easily access that job by simply selecting it. I can also get a bit more information about the customer and choose to archive them if I wish to no longer see them in my active customer list. Finally, the settings menu. The settings menu allows you to see which version of the app you're using to make sure you're using the most up-to-date version, as well as making sure that you're using the correct account, whether your notifications are enabled, as well as location tracking, and the option to conserve your battery life by re using reduced accuracy tracking. We also have a customer mode. The customer mode is for showing or letting your customers see specific quotes or invoices within the system without showing them the relevant profit or financial information. By selecting this and turning it on, I can now view a quote without seeing any of the relevant inf financial information regarding the profit, loss, or gain for my specific customer. This allows you to easily toggle this on, on or off depending on whether or not you're showing your quote or don't want anyone within your staff to see the specific information regarding the jobs. That concludes the mobile app training session. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos to learn how to best utilize Tradeify. Thanks for watching.